Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. So today, working on a Mustang fiberglass hood. Uh, so a buddy of mine, Mark, he uh, is trying to get his car ready for drag week. And he uh, basically bought this hood to butcher it. Um, so he didn't pay, I think, but like uh, 75 bucks for it or something off a guy. It's fiberglass hood. Uh, it was already hacked up. Um, so we're just trying to make it less hacked up. Uh, you know, so it, uh, it'll serve its purpose. But I figured what I could do is teach you some basic uh, uh, repair tricks that I do, that I did for my fiberglass bumpers that I'm going to do to this hood um, as well. So one thing I'm going to do is you can see they basically cut this rear part of the hood off that kind of extends out and it's supposed to seal up to the glass. So they whack that off. We're not going to add it back on. Um, but you can see there's a big hole right there where he uh, you know, has his intake manifold, his fuel injection set up, um, like the, I think it's the big 4500 sniper. And then he's got a big clear plastic uh, hood scoop, you know, to, as he's going down track, right, to force all that air in. So we had to cut this big hole here to, uh, to take to account for that. Now, we do need to glass in this reinforcement that I bent up. This is just some eighth inch rod. Um, you know, I basically just marked it in a couple spots, went over to my vise and, and bent it. Um, and I'll take a picture here of it in place uh, so you can see, you know, how it fits up to the hood. Um, and then there's a few holes here you can see from the previous owner. Uh, there's four in each corner. There's one here. Whoops, figure, figure out where my finger's going, right? Anyway, one there. I got to figure this finger thing out someday. And then there is a couple out here in the front up there as well. Uh, same kind of deal. So we need to glass all those in. And if I were to flip this hood over, it looks terrible. So we need to do a little, uh, you know, filler here and there, um, fill in some holes. But what I'm gonna need to do though first is I need to put like a glass backer here first. And then what I'm gonna do is put some resin in over top of that glass backer. Um, so the resin then will set up. And uh, I'm gonna do it just slightly below the, the, the surface and then just use a skim of uh, filler over top of that, sand it smooth, and then we'll just top coat the, uh, the hood. Um, like I said, we're not spending a lot of money on this. We'll probably use like a, a Bully Dog adhesion promoter um, to spray on the hood itself. The, so that way the primer will stick and then also, you know, the uh, top coat will stick. It's just gonna be like a sing single stage rattle can. You know, you basically bought it pre-mixed. We're just gonna rattle can it to match the body color of the car. Like I said, this is just cheap, just to uh, make it look halfway decent. But the tricks that I'm gonna kind of go through the process of repairing uh, or re reinforcing the hood, you can apply to anything. So with that said, let me flip this camera around and I'll kind of show you what I'm doing. All right, the first step, guys, is to uh, take basically some uh, 60 grit, 80 grit. This is some 36 um, here. I've got some 80 there. And basically what I want to do is rough up this entire surface, um, you know, all the way across here. You can see how wobbly this is because of where he had to cut it out. That's why I'm adding this eighth inch rod here um, to it. And so I extended it over, ran it down, bent it. You know, I just bent this in my vise, um, marked it, you know, a couple spots, and then just started working it. So what I'm going to do is rough up this whole surface here. Uh, these are his deuce fa does fasteners, deuce fasteners, whatever, um, that he's going to use. So we need to fill this area in. I'm going to glass this whole area in here, going across, coming back up, and then over here uh, to kind of help this to create a reinforcement because it is pretty uh, weak and flexible. So the first thing I need to do is sand all this and rough this surface up. So when I go ahead and apply the uh, um, new mat as well as the, uh, um, you know, the fiberglass uh, adhesive, right? 
um, you know, it'll stick to this and, uh, you know, it'll, it'll be a permanent bond then. So let me go ahead and wrap this up real quick. And then I'll show you what the end result looks like here in just a moment. All right, so as you can saw in the time lapse, uh, you know, I uh, did my best to basically try and scuff this fiberglass up real good with the 36 grit. Um, you can see here, right, hopefully you can see here where it's, you know, kind of dull. Um, where now you can see, right, I've taken the 36 grit and really scuffed this up. Um, you know, so the new uh, mat will stick to it. And when I use the resin, um, you know, put a little resin on here with a brush. We'll resin all this in and then we'll start setting the mat in place and then do a little, um, you know, use a little resin on top of it. Probably do uh, just like one layer of mat here because I just want enough to cover the hole up. Um, so then when I pour the resin on the other side, right on the front side here, um, that, you know, it'll fill that opening up. Here, you know, for this rod, it's going to take me a, probably a couple of layers of mat uh, to do this. Uh, you can see here, you know, they cut this out, right? And under here is actually just sponge. All they did was use sponge and then put, you know, the mat over the sponge. Um, you know, to kind of, because really the sponge is super lightweight, and then once the fiberglass sets up, you know, that's your rigidity. I would do something similar here, but I really don't have any, you know, much space um, to do a sponge or let's say foam, for example. Uh, so that's why I'm gonna go ahead and use the metal rod in this case. And I'll probably let the mat stick out on both sides a little bit, uh, and then I'll trim the mat down afterwards. Um, you know, like I said, it's not gonna be perfect, but we'll, we'll lay the mat on here, you know, maybe a half inch or so on either side you know, make sure we get it tucked in uh, as close as we can to the rod. Um, and then we'll let the, uh, the mat set up. So I'm not gonna paint the rod. Uh, the reason I'm not gonna paint it, um, you know, once the resin gets on it, it's just gonna basically eat through this, you know, if you rattle can it or something, for example, I will wipe off, you know, a couple of rust spots, but, um, you know, to paint it's not gonna really do you any good at all. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do to reinforce this. So now let me go ahead and mix up some resin and uh, we'll start putting a little mat down. All right guys, so what I've done now is I've sanded all this all up, I've cleaned it all up. Um, so I've cut a bunch of strips out. You notice though I've got a small clamp here kind of holding it in the middle. Um, you know, it's nice and tight here. The one thing though, is you will notice there is a gap. You know, you can kind of see where the buildup is here and up here, and then there's kind of a gap in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a small piece of this, put it in behind there, and I'll resin that small piece in, and then I'll start putting resin over top of it, and then put these longer strips in and start putting, you know, doing them here. And I'll probably have to do a couple of strips over each, uh, a couple of layers, I should say, um, over this. And then I'll do the same thing over here. I'll do another little piece there to take up that gap in the rod, you know, and then start putting these pieces over top as well of the holes. So then when I flip it over, I can fill in some resin in this opening and I've got kind of a backer in place, if you will, um, like so. Then we'll come up to the front. You know, basically, uh, I've taken a piece of sandpaper, cleaned that out area out inside of here, removed a bunch of the foam. You can see kind of the, the dark area now versus the light, right? This is all the foam I've removed. And I've got a few small pieces that I will stick in there. And then a couple of, you know, basically a small piece to put over these holes. And then, then the same thing in that other front. So this is just some technique, guys, to help you. Um, you know, this hood is not really going to be a show hood. This is um, just something for Hot Rod Drag Week that's super lightweight. Um, we're trying to make it look halfway decent. 
So the techniques are what I'm trying to show you more than anything of what to do to help reinforce this hood, um, you know, to do some simple basic repairs. So anyway, let me go ahead and uh, set up a little time lapse. We'll time lapse this thing, and then uh, you can, I'll show you the end result uh, after it's all said and done. And then when it hardens, um, you know, we'll flip the hood over and we'll go through uh, some of the next steps of what we need to do. All right, so you guys saw the time lapse, and here's what I did. You can see there's one of the big holes where I basically took one piece of, you know, fiberglass mat, just put it over top, um, just so I have, you know, backing to do filler on the other side. You can see there's the rod, you know, contoured all the way across, up and over, all glassed in as well. You, know, you see I've got a little more glass on this side of it, you know, some more here as well, kind of reinforced. And then, you know, it's reinforced all the way up through here as well. So this end, you know, is reinforced all by this whole area. And then here's one of the other holes as well. I'm not very proud of this. It looks like crap, but it looks better on the other side. Um, you can see this one turned out much better uh, where I was able to go in from the back side this way, put the mat in and then add the resin where this side I actually tried to go from this side and kind of screwed it up. So I'm gonna let it set up a little bit and then I'm gonna try and reposition that mat and see if we can get her tucked down a little better. But uh, I'm not too worried about it since it's on the back side. but you know, me being me, I just wanna fix that up a little bit. So I'm gonna wait for the resin to set up a little bit and then try to tamp that down a little better. So tomorrow, We'll see what this looks like after it sets up and we'll flip the hood over and see how this reinforcement worked. Well guys, I came up with this wild idea to try and pinch, you know, the, uh, the mat a little closer to the rod, you know, so we didn't have this big overlap, right? Like that. So I took some wax paper and wrapped it around the bottom side there and around. And then obviously you can see some wood shims and some clamps. And I tried to clamp it as close as I could to the rod um, and let this set up. So that way, you know, it's nice and tight um, to the body, you know, and hopefully when this resin sets up and the glass sets up right overnight, that you know, we'll have a nice formed piece, you know, through here and uh, it'll stick. So we're going to give this a try and hopefully this wax paper doesn't stick. I talked to a buddy of mine and he's like, well, it shouldn't. Uh, it's a good idea. So we're going to try it. He's a body man. So I'm going to give it a roll and hopefully we, uh, hopefully this works. All right, guys. So got the hood flipped over. Uh, doing a little cleanup here. Got it just a little, you know, resin as you can see right there. I need to sand out. I need to cut some of this glass that's uh, overlapped out now. Um, now what I can do is I can get ready to fill these four holes in in each corner uh, with some resin. And I'm just short of the top here. And then I can just do a little bit of filler. Uh, so I may take in each one of these holes and try to add a little resin with like a toothpick or something as well, just to fill those in so, you know, they don't crack out doing anything funny. This hood has been through the ringer. Let me just say that, that uh, I think it was this corner. Oh no, it was over here, this corner. Um, you can see it was tempted to be patched up somewhere in this area, um, you know, with a bunch of resin. You can see a spot here, spot up here, you know, where there was damage. Um, both, I think, front corners, you can see, you know, had gotten nicked up at some point. So this hood has uh, been through the ringer, but anyway, 
Um, all I'm trying to do is uh, take the rough spots out, see if we can make it a little bit better. Just uh, like I said, this being, this hood is not meant to be perfect. This is uh, a hood that's gonna go on a drag weight car just for lightweight, super lightweight as we can make it. Uh, just reinforce that back area there, right where the big opening is so it doesn't break. And then I'm gonna try to at least clean these up and then we're just gonna rattle can it with a single stage, the same color as the car, just so it doesn't look terrible. Um, so anyway, I'll go through and I'll show you guys after I clean this up a little bit more. Um, I'm just using some 80 right now, just to try to clean it a little bit, make it a little bit better. And then I'll go to like probably a 320 and work this with a, some 320 a little bit. And then I'll do just a little bit of filler. All right, guys, so uh, mixed up a little more resin. Got this uh, sanded flush. Um, you know, everything kind of cleaned up so I can fill these four holes up, you know, these four big ones with resin here. And then try to dip a little in here. And then there's a couple spots I'm also going to add some resin. So uh, it is like 90 freaking degrees out. Got the fan blowing to help try and keep me a little cool. But now I'm going to dump the resin in and I'll show you what it looks like afterward. All right, I got the resin put in, a little too much in this one. So we'll just have to take my time, sand it down. I'm not gonna try and take some out at this point in time. It's already starting to set up. A little in the hole, so, you know, we'll just, uh, we'll just clean this up. Get rid of a little excess there. So we'll clean this up uh, afterward, do a little uh, fine sanding. So otherwise, we'll just let this kind of do its thing and let it set up. And then we'll come back, sand it down, show you what it looks like, sand it down, and go from there. This hood is pretty much a disaster. Um, you know, there's a bunch of damage here, you know, so we're gonna do a little light filler on this area. You can see there's damage here, damage here. So you can see all this, you know, here, damage. So we'll do, a little, just a little bit of filler in these areas just to try to smoothen it up to make it look halfway decent. All right guys, so the resin is sitting up real nice. I actually did take some resin out of this. Um, so now it's starting to set up. Um, we're just gonna let it set up for a couple more hours and then we'll go ahead and start doing some of the filler work. So all of these are starting to look pretty good. Um, just need to uh, let them harden up real good. Then I'll go ahead and sand them down. And then we'll start some of the uh, filler work. So in the meantime, I'm gonna do a little blocking of this. I don't know what kind of crap they used for primer or whatever else, but you know, there's some really funny areas going on here. So while that's doing that, I'm gonna do a little block sanding and see what's going on with some of this crap. All right guys, so I'm not a body man by any means, but I went ahead and started putting the first little bit of Bondo in these holes. Probably too much, but I figure I'll just sand it down. Or not enough actually here. Probably a little too much there, you know, not enough there, too much here. Anyway, we'll take some time to sand these areas down, you know, with the, with the long board. Um, you know, see what we can do. You can see here, you know, all these little spots that I was trying to show you, all the little ripples, if you will. Um, so we'll sand it, take our time, see what we can do to get this improved. I don't know what this black crap is, you know, it wipes right off with lacquer thinner or even acetone. Um, so I don't know what they, if they just used a simple, I don't know what the hell they used, but it's definitely not, uh, I'm sure any type of good primer, um, whatsoever. So, uh, yeah, this hood's not meant to be perfect, but we're at least trying to make it look halfway decent. So this is kind of where we're at. Well guys, I figured I'd show you the hood. Um, this thing is still a flipping mess, but you know, we've, uh, we've got these sanded down. I mean, this thing is so bad. You know, this is nice and smooth. Um, it really needs now a couple of top coats of, uh, or a couple coats of epoxy primer. Um, I should say high film build primer, you know, so we've, we've got a bunch of this fixed up. Unfortunately, you know, you can see where the, whatever they used for previous crappy paint, you know, kind of had some problems there. This is nice and smooth. 
but I don't know if you can see, but look at all that. You know, look at how this is all just exploded, you know, and cracking, you know, so. I don't know what they did to this thing. This thing uh, obviously got broken here. It got broken here, broken in that corner. So anyway, it's, um, I tried to smoothen this out the best I can, um, that I know how at least. I'm not a, but the body guy, right? Um, although I'm learning body work. Anyway, um, so anyway guys, you can see where there was a lot of high low spots in this thing, you know, a lot of damage to it. You know, there's still other areas that still have more damage to it, but it really needs a couple of coats of a uh, high film build primer, you know, and a really a good blocking at this point to make this hood look halfway decent. Let me go ahead and flip this thing over here now, and I will show you the backside how it turned out. So here's the backside, guys, and I actually came up with a neat idea, um, you know, right, with using some of that uh, um, wax paper and clamps. Unfortunately, you know, I couldn't get everywhere good, uh, as good as tight as this, because it was already starting to harden up. But you can see, you know, using the wax paper and the clamp, it really was able to get a nice tight fit to the rod here, you know, into here, and then you can kind of see it started kind of going out as, as it was hardening. So I wasn't able to do as good of a job there. Um, you know, I was able to kind of get it good here, you know, not so good there. But overall, I mean, this thing is real nice and rigid now. Um, you know, it's not, you can see this thin area, right? You, it's uh, maybe an inch and a half thick. So this should is nice and reinforced back here now. So we shouldn't have any problems. So, you know, the idea is just showing you some different ideas and techniques and what to do uh, to show this. You know, I'm not the best body guy, guys, right? I'm learning this as I go, you know, as I do things. Um, you know, obviously I watch, try to watch a couple videos here and there too to learn and then to pass on my experiences. So I hope this uh, helped you guys out, um, you know, with repairing a fiberglass hood. Um, you know, this thing, you know, came to me from a buddy. Uh, it was pretty beat up. You know, I'm giving it back to him now with, what little repairs I did. I don't have the time to, or, you know, or the, have the high film build primer, time to block it and do all that for him. He's gonna have to make the decision what he wants to do. But at least I've got it reinforced. I've got some of the major areas kind of patched up. He'll have to make the decision on what he wants to do with the rest of this thing. So hopefully, like I said, what I kind of should, now granted I didn't go through all the body filler stuff and all that, right? Um, you kind of see the end result at least. I didn't think you wanted any time lapses and stuff like that. Uh, more of you know what I did to do some of the glass repair and then you can see you know what I did to Kind of did you know kind of did to do some of the filler stuff anyway Like subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. Hope this helps you out. Please comment uh, Please share you know all that fun stuff. Have a great day Hopefully this kind of gives you like I said some of the ideas or something to practice with um, You know if you have to do something anyway guys have a great day. Good luck in your shop. Peace out.